This is a Storm Team Alert, certified as Central New York's most accurate. 614, almost 615, waiting for snow, but you're going to have to wait till after midnight. Right now, it is just some drizzle here in downtown Syracuse. In fact, Live Doppler 9 pretty much backs that up as you take a look around the Syracuse area. Just a little bit of drizzle. Uh, there's a little bit steadier rain south and east of Syracuse as you take a look here on the radar screen in Shenango County in particular. You know, it's a little steady. I don't know if I, I wouldn't call it moderate or heavy rain, but steady rain around Norwich, stretching a little bit farther south and west. A little drizzle north of Cortland right now looks to be dry in the Ithaca area. Boy, what a drop in temperature this afternoon after hovering in the 50s until 3 o'clock. Cold front came through and down we went. Mid 40s the last couple of hours are actually down to 42, but we still have a little ways to go before we start to see anything in the way of snow. So there are the temperatures still all in the 40s, and I think we'll kind of hold there here now as we go through the next couple of hours. We're waiting for an area of low pressure to track north along the front that just moved through. And notice how this area of precipitation is increasing. Uh, uh, approaching Kentucky and West Virginia. This is what streaks north and east toward us. Uh, one of the reasons we're lowering snow totals is this low is going to move very quickly off the coast tomorrow morning. And as a result, the steady snow, when it does develop, won't be over us quite as long. So this evening, a little drizzle, a few light showers. Those temperatures continue to back off. So at midnight, we're in the 30s. And then here comes that area of precipitation just starting to show up in southwestern New York at midnight. And here in Syracuse, two or three o'clock in the morning, we'll see that change over to snow. And there's that steady snow. Uh, this is actually indicating that if the snow is not out of here during the morning commute, it's just about ready to move out. And again, that's one of the reasons we've lowered the snowfall at uh, seven, eight o'clock. Still some steady snow, Rome, Norwich. Notice some of the higher elevations with temperatures below freezing. Those are the areas that would have the most impact in terms of the roads tomorrow morning. And then after that, it's, it's more like snow showers the rest of the day. You, you may get a burst of snow, but notice the temperatures above freezing, so the roads during the midday and afternoon would stay wet and not white. So here are those snow totals, what we're expecting, traced to an inch or two uh, around the Syracuse area. Two to four around Ithaca, Norwich, Utica, and Rome. More over higher elevations of the Tug Hill, and notice that gradient uh, traced to two inches in downtown Syracuse to as much as four five, six inches, Pompey, and over toward uh, Tully as well. Wind chill, another issue tomorrow. We're in the 30s, but with the wind, it's going to feel like it's in the 20s. Here's your planning forecast. Another chilly day Friday, although we'll get the sun out, 36. Over the weekend, temperatures more seasonable. Outside of rain or snow shower Saturday night, I think we're dry over the weekend. Sun and clouds still dry on Monday, mid-50s. And then by the time you get to Tuesday and Wednesday, at least the chance for some showers is we're still in the 50s.